Thank you so much for choosing this video. Please subscribe to the channel and click the like button. It helps me a lot. Thanks. Let's begin right away. In this video, I will be covering how to recreate this Cadence Team header with a sticky effect for your website with the amazing Bricks Builder. I only have installed the Bricks Builder with no plugins. By the way, if you are planning to buy this tool, I will leave it in the description box the link. This is not an affiliate link, so use it as you wish. Bricks Builder is a modern premium tool to visually design your entire site. I start off by creating a page and then press Edit with Bricks. Bricks theme styles are applied globally. Bricks automatically applies the most specific styles to your site. To create a new theme styles, press the plus icon. Let's set the conditions to apply this theme style to my page. Click the plus icon. I'm defining to apply it to this specific page. Under the general, let's define the side background color. I have already defined my color palette, so I go with this color for my background color. I begin to build up the structure of my header and hero section. Come over to theme styles as I need to set the container width. Under the root width, I go with 1212. I find it easier to label the container. Just press on top of it and enter your label. Inside my master container, I create another container. Inside this one, I place a heading element. I added another container labeled as call to action. To this container, I place three buttons. Don't forget to check the cadence WordPress website design layout. I need to duplicate this container structure so press in its icon. At the moment I have six buttons, right? And the heading. My elements are all inside. These are all elements I need to recreate Cadence Hero section. Select your top level container. Let's define the width in percentage to 100%. I also need the background image, so I upload it. In the content tab, I set the container element direction to vertical. I need to align my heading to the center. I press these two buttons to get what I need. For my call to action container, let set now to direction to horizontal. Align the main and the cross axis to the center. The column gap here is 35 pixels. Looking impressive. Let's now update the heading text. I need the H1 with a font size of 45. I also update the, the buttons labels. I also need to change the font color to my color palette. 700 font weight. Capitalized. For my primary button, I like to add in more left and right padding so it stands out. A little spacing of 1. I want now to copy the first button style to the other ones. Right click, copy the styles and paste to the other buttons. For my secondary buttons, I adjust now the left and the right padding. Remove the background color. I also need to set the background color position. So select the top level, set mine to center, center. Let's preview live what we have done so far. For the last container, I also need to set its direction to horizontal, spaced evenly. The column gap I go with 35 pixels. Then select the buttons, elements and adjust the texts and colors. I need now to place these buttons at the bottom. I drag the container element outside the previous structure elements. Then apply the same technique to copy button styles. The last step is adjust a negative 40 pixels margin to the call to action container with a transparent background color. Let's preview now with the front end. I probably tweak more little things. I'm happy with the result. Moving over to Bricks Editor to check for mobiles, it surely needs improvement for mobile users. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. 
I like to adjust the mobile's width to 400 pixels. For the heading element, I decrease the font size to 30 pixels, center aligned. The next move is select the call to action container and set the direction to vertical. Lastly, select the last container, put the direction to vertical, aligning the cross axis to the center. Then, what you can do is to change the text font color. The last part is to build up the sticky header. So let's continue. We need to create a template. Give it a name. On your right hand side you should select the template type. Edit with bricks. Press the template settings. Activate the sticky header function and then I've chosen the background color to be applied. The condition is to display on the section we have just created. Then click on the preview button to populate the content with the design we have created together. Create a top level container, the width I set to 1212 and the left and the right padding I set it to 25. The container height is a 9VH and make sure you set a Z index to 10 for example. Let's create a structure. Press the plus icon to have three new containers. So Select the top level container and let's change the alignment to horizontal. Also align the container to the center in both axes space evenly. Let's add the elements. Select the first container and I place here the logo element. To the second element I insert a navigation menu and to the last container I insert a bottom element. Select the bottom and then aligning in the cross axis to end. Let's have a look at the front end. Ok, I'm pretty happy with this sticky header. So, this concludes this video on how to recreate the Cadence website header and hero section with the Bricks Builder. If you liked the video, please subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.